Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Sally and in today's video what I'm going to do is I'm going to share another heat transfer design that I've done. I say another because in the last video I did one then and actually I did a second sample, kind of prepped it up in that last video but I never used it because the footage was getting too big. I've made a really long video so I've split it. So we're going to rewind and you're going to see some of the footage and then I'm going to add to it by using the sewing machine from today. Alright then, let's get into it. For this sample I'm going to use this vol fabric and I'm going to use the heat transfer paints going to look at this section over here of my sketchbook work on natural forms and I'm going to transfer it. It's going to be quite abstract. I'm going to transfer it onto these two. is on some roll fabric. So I've got the two pieces that I did yesterday. Line those up. And as I said, the actual heat transfer painting comes out very differently. It absorbs in different fabrics in different ways. So it's really quite nice to use several fabrics. I'm going to be using them as a kind of base to work on top of with stitch on the sewing machine. Oh, lovely, can you see that? So I just finished this one off, that's finished. You can see that's come out really well. I would keep these because you can still keep getting prints off them even though they're sort of quite faint. And also I quite like what's come out on the baking parchment as well. Just to show you a few things then, spray painted this fabric here as a background. I've also used some brusho dyes on this thicker cotton fabric. I've just scrunched up the roll fabric and I just want a load of creases in it. And I've been distorting and fraying the edges of the roll too. This fabric's great because you really can kind of stretch it and just get quite a few distortions and distresses in there, which I really quite like. What I'm thinking is I'm going to cut this in half because I want to try to do maybe two samples. So I'm going to do one for the kind of top half of here and then one for the bottom half, this more greeny coloured one. Just taking a section of the bowl and crumpled it up sort of in the middle, trapped it in between my two embroidery hoops and I'm going to be pinching the fabric and getting the green just in the middle, this little section here, and start keeping the fabric down. I still want to see some of the prints, but I'm going to have some stitches in between. You can see what I'm doing at the minute, I'm just taking some, well I'm actually looking at that little area in there and I'm taking some of the green thread with straight stitch and following some of the print and working into that centre piece and then I'm going to start working out with further out on the fabric with other thread colours. So 
just been adding a little bit more yellow thread into some areas and I've just run out of thread on my bobbin so just grabbed a new one and what I tend to do is just use some pale different colours in my bobbin as it happens it's got yellow in there at the moment and it's yellow on top but if I use some pale colours underneath with a different darker colour on top it tends to give sort of different eff effects you can see the different colours showing through so it's quite nice to experiment with that so you can see what I'm doing I'm literally just sewing in between some of the prints there just using this new lime green colour thread and what's quite nice is when you sort of sew around a little bunched up bit of fabric you can just pucker it up a little bit more the needles going backwards and forwards over the fabric and it's kind of ruching it up in the middle which is quite nice so you can see it sort of hookers up in the middle. So that's that one finished, that's the first sample and I've just used a couple of different thread colours in there and I haven't gone too crazy on filling it up either because I wanted to make sure that I saw the transfer print as well and as I said this little area here is what I've been influenced by. So the second one I'm going to do has got a green background, that's with the brush show dyes. I'm just going to fray and distort the edges just because I don't want them looking really neat at the end so I'm just dragging the fabric with my fingernails just getting some areas into like so. That is a little project finished, done and dusted and all those samples have come from this piece over here in my sketchbook. I didn't realise that I could probably get so many from it, in fact I've got more ideas to do and maybe I haven't quite finished yet. So, so far we've obviously got some gathering, we've got some ruffles fabric slashing, we've done some dyeing of fabrics, we've spray painted the background, we've distorted fabric, we've fabric manipulated over here, we've used free motion embroidery and we've used some Tyvek. video today and if you did do give me a like it really helps and also if you're not a subscriber and you're brand new here today then do hit the subscribe button and the notification see them when I upload and post every week and I'd love to have you as a viewer take care of yourselves and I'll see you shortly goodbye